Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Sylvia again. I'm so glad to come to you this way. I'd rather be seeing your sweet faces, but but uh, I'm here at my house, and I want to talk to you about our Bible story this week. But first, let's talk about traveling. You see what I have in my hand? It's, it's just a little blow-up globe I got at the dollar store, but that's what our earth looks like, except all of this would be blue for water. And let me turn it around and show you where we live. We live right here in Florida, in the United States. And there are lots of other countries. I've not been to many. This is Africa, and China's over here. There are a lot of other countries that people travel to. And uh, you may have traveled before. You may have gone on a cruise ship on vacation, or you may have gotten in your car and ridden to Grandma and Grandpa's house, or your cousins, or just different places. So we have lots of fun ways that we can travel, but years ago, in Bible times, people traveled by boat or just by their feet. They just walked. Sometimes they might ride a camel. So we're gonna to talk today, I'm gonna to tell you a story about missionaries. Let me put this over here. And you're gonna learn about what a missionary is. Now, God, wants every person to know about Jesus. He wants every person to know that Jesus is his son and that he died for us and that he lives again. We know that from our celebration at Easter a couple weeks ago. Jesus is alive. And so uh, because God wants everyone to know about Jesus, he made a plan a long time ago, and it was back in Bible times, and God chose Paul and Barnabas to go tell other people about him and about Jesus, his son. And Paul and Barnabas were two men that loved God, they knew God, and they believed that Jesus was his son. So they were just the right kind of people to tell other people about Jesus. So the Bible tells us that God sent them to go to other places. Now up here I have a map and the Bible says they were in Antioch and one of the first places that he sent them to go was to an island. See this island? It's called Cyprus and to get there though they had to get on a boat. I love that boat with the red and white sail. And they sailed to Cyprus and the Bible says that everywhere they went in that island on that island they told people about Jesus and that he loved them and he cared about them and that he was God's son and the Bible said that they would then maybe the boat would come over here to another place and would get up close to the shoreline and they would get off the boat and then they might have to travel by camel or just walking they walked everywhere they went and they would go from town to town telling other people about Jesus and how he loved them and cared for them and how God cared for them. And the Bible says that God gave them the power and the strength to do that. That was a lot of work and a lot of walking. And uh, not everyone believed when they would talk to them about Jesus. Now our story today talks about how they would go into different towns and they would go into the synagogue. Now, we know what the synagogue is. We've talked about that before. Synagogue is a, like a church where they, people would go and pray and learn about God. And so one day Paul and Barnabas went into the synagogue and they began to teach people, the group that was there, about God. And the people were listening and they were learning and they were believing. And so when it came time for Paul and Barnabas to stop teaching for the day, the people begged them, please come back next week. Would you come back next week? And they said, okay. Now this is the part I like. I reread it several times in my Bible. The Bible says that the next week when Paul and Barnabas came back to the synagogue, the whole town, everyone in the town came back to hear. That must have been a lot of people. But they listened, and the Bible says many people believed what Paul and Barnabas were teaching about God. Now, some people did not believe. Not everyone believed, but many, many people believed in what Paul and Barnabas were teaching. The Bible says they continued to travel for a long time. They went to many places all around, 
And that's how our church, the church in the Bible began to grow. More and more people began to believe and they would tell someone else and they believed. And then they'd go to another place and they tell someone else and they believed. And you know what? That is still how we, how we spread the good news today. Now I want us to think about what a missionary is. A missionary is someone who goes and tells people about Jesus. Uh, I know if you know Miss Donna, she and her husband have traveled to China many times to teach uh, boys and girls and moms and dads about Jesus. So they're like missionaries. So you already know a missionary, Miss Donna. Um, I want us to learn our verse today, and then I'm going to tell you parents some questions to ask your boys and girls. Here's our Bible verse for today in the Bible, Acts 13, 2. God chose Paul and Barnabas to do his work. See, it was work to be a missionary. They had to travel. They had to be away from their hometown, and that's the way it is for missionaries today. Now, there's these are just little drawings of Paul and Barnabas, but there they are. God chose Paul and Barnabas to do his work. Acts 13, 2. You can remember that. I know you can. All right, let's fill in this. This is our verse for this whole month. Go and tell the... Uh-uh. I'm going to move this down. Good news about, who do you think we're talking about? What? Who is the good news about? Go and tell the good news about who? Jesus. That's what Paul and Barnabas were doing, and that's what you can do too, okay? All right, parents, here are three questions. How did... Barnabas, excuse me, how did Paul and Barnabas travel? See if your boys and girls can remember that. What did they want people to know? That might be, they'll have to think about that, but I hope they got it. What do missionaries do? We know what they do right there. All right, I forgot the picture. There's Paul. You think that's Barnabas? Or maybe that's someone he's just talking to about Jesus. I don't know. But I love the picture. And look at the boat. Same kind of sail as our boat up there. All right? All right, I want to pray with you before I close so we can remember this story, okay? Let's pray. Father God, thank you for this story about Paul and Barnabas. Thank you, God, that they were the first missionaries. You sent them out, God. And you gave them all they needed as they traveled from town to town teaching people about you. God, we love you and we thank you for these uh, wonderful stories you've saved in the Bible. Help us to remember them. In Jesus' name, amen. All right.